Hi, pick up Brain here and you are watching how to correct backed out number heading to options. For some unknown reasons, there is a grange that may invade into your Word document resulting in backed out numbers in headings. This can happen to any heading. For me, it has happened in heading number 4. But the method shown here is universal and applicable to any heading. There are two options to correct it. Here is the first option. Put your cursor before the first word and after the black box. Next, hit the left arrow. After this, black box turns gray. Then hit Ctrl, Shift and S. This is a shortcut to open a style dialog box. Then hit Reapply. The heading number is corrected. Now save the document. Sometime this problem again creeps in after you opening the document. Then use the option 2. Second option is you have to go to the blacked out heading and then press Ctrl Shift S to open the style dialog box. Then click on modify. Uh, at bottom just click on this button down arrow and from there select numbering. And in the numbering make sure that none is selected then click OK and then OK. This will remove all the numbering format that is applicable to this style form. Now again you can apply this numbering format as per your requirement. To reapply the fourth level numbering to this style what I'll do I'll just click on the multi-level list and then select the current multi-level list that is applicable in this doc. For me it is this. If the numbering order is not proper then just go to the multi-level list option again and then from the bottom change list level select the appropriate level. For me it is level 4. So I'll just select this. Now this may cause some disturbance in spacing. So just apply the spacing as desired. For me, this is the spacing that I required. And then once it is done, just go to the corresponding heading. Since this is heading 4, I'll go and right click on the heading 4 in style menu. And then click on update heading 4 to match selection. So this will make all the text with the heading 4 as per this format. And now it is done. Now you just have to save this document. If you're still not able to solve this issue, please post it in your comment and I will try to help you out. And if you want to see more such videos like this on Microsoft Word formatting and help, then please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell notification icon so that whenever I publish a new video, you get a notification.